Kanda 6, Hymn 1. Sing, Aparvana, at eve. Sing loudly, bring a splendid present, him God Savitar with praises. Yea, praise him whose home is in the river, son of truth, the youthful, gracious friend, whose word is guileless, Savitar, our God, send us many everlasting treasures, that both paths may well be traveled. Hymn 6 2. Three verses. For Indra, ministering priests, run ye and press the soma juice, that he may hear his praiser's word, and this my call, thou into whom the drops find way as sap pours life into a tree, drive off in thine abundant might our demon foes, for Indra thunder armed who drinks the soma, press the soma out, he youthful conqueror and Lord is praised by all. And so first you connect to the inner flow, and then you're able to disconnect with what you don't want in there. Hymn 6 3, three verses. Guard us, the Marutas, guard us well, O Indra, Pushan, Aditya, guard us, a water's child, and rivers seven. May Vishnu guard us and the sky, may heaven and earth take care of us for victory. May pressing stone and soma save us from distress. Sarasvati, auspicious goddess, guard us well, preserve us, Agna, and his kind, protecting powers, preserve us both, the Athens, gods, and lords of light, and let the dawns and night bring us deliverance. The water's child protect our home from every harm. Do thou, God Tvashtar, make us strong for health and wealth. Hymn 6, 4, 3 verses. May Tvashtar, Brahmanaspata, Parjanya, hear my holy prayer. May Aditya, with all her sons, the brothers, guard us, invincible, protecting power. May Amsa, Vaga, Varuna, and Mitra, Argaman, Aditya, and Marutas guard us. May we be freed from that oppressor's hatred. May he keep off that foeman who is near us. May both the Asins further our devotion. With ceaseless care deliver us. Wide Ranger, O Father Heaven, keep from us all misfortune. So, after we have dwelt with those of us, those near us and beyond, him 6, 5, 3 verses. Agni adorned with sacred oil, lift up this man to high estate, endow him with full store of strength, and make him rich in progeny, advance him Indra, let him be ruler of all akin to him, grant him sufficiency of wealth, guide him to life and length of days, prosper this man, O Agni, in whose house we offer sacrifice, may Soma bless him, and the God here present, Brahmanaspata. Hymn 6, 6, 3 verses. The godless man, whoever plots against us, Brahmanaspata, thou shalt give up as prey to me, the worshipper, who pour the juice. If Soma, any spiteful man, hath aimed at us, whose thoughts are kind, smite with thy bolt upon his face, he crushed to pieces, vanisheth. Soma, whoever troubleth us, be he a stranger or a kin, deprive him of the strength he hath slay him. Thyself, like mighty Tiaus. And so we draw a comparison of difference. To the difference between the worshiper and the one who doesn't worship. M six seven three verses. Soma what pathway Aditya and the three guileless Mitras use. Come thou with help to us thereby, thereby thou. Conquering Soma with 
wilt give. Assure us to be our prey, that our mind be our advocates, whereby ye gods repelled, and stayed the powers of the Asuras, thereby give shelter unto us. Hymn 6, 8, 3 verses. Like as the creeper throws her arms on every side around the tree, so hold thou me in thine embrace, that thou mayest be in love with me, my darling, never to depart, as when he mounts the eagle strikes his pinions downward on the earth, so do I strike thy spirit down, that thou mayest be in love with me, my darling, never to depart, as in his rapid course the sun encompasses the heaven and earth, so do I compass round thy mind, that thou mayest be in love with me, my darling, never to depart. And thou shalt give up as a prey to me, the worshipper, who pour the juice. Well, so a nicer way of looking at that, right? Um, one who has upheld held the love of God. Rather than the one who worships for the purpose of baneful magic. Hymn 6, 9, 3 verses. Desire my body, love my feet, love thou mine eyes, and love my legs. Let both thine eyes and hair, bond girl, be dried and parched through love of me. I make thee hang upon mine arm, I make thee lie upon my heart. Thou yieldest to my wish, that thou mayest be submissive to my will. May they whose kisses are a bond, a love charm laid within the heart. Mothers of butter, may the cows incline, that made to love of me. And hit six ten, three verses. All hail for hearing to the earth, to trees, to Agne, sovereign Lord. All hail for breath to life, for power to life, to Vayu, sovereign Lord. All hail for vision to the stars, to heaven, to Surya, sovereign Lord. 6.11. Asvata on the Sami tree, there a male birth is certified. There is the finding of a son. This being we to the women folk, the father sows the genial seed, the woman tends and fosters it. This is the finding of a son. Thus hath Prajapata declared. Prajapata and Amata Sinivali have ordered it. Elsewhere may he effect the birth of maids, but here prepare a boy. And what does the Quran say? The male is not like the female, and it criticizes those who look at, oh, females been more than you. Like, yeah. So, um, you know what I mean? They're looking at that like. In the 612. You know, so it's talking against us who are talking badly about one gender being born or another. Three verses. I, as the sun goes round the heaven, have traveled round the serpent's race. I ward thy poison off, as night parts all else living from the sun. With this discovered in the days of old, my Brahmins, Rishas, gods, my face, with this. I ward my poison off, now bitter formed and forming now. With mead I mingle flowing streams, the hills and mountains shall be mead. Parushni and Sapali mead, may it be well with mouth and heart. And so the Brahmins and the Rishis are beings of choice, and of course the light beings, they, you know, have their program. 613, three verses. Worship the weapons of the gods. 
worship the weapons of the kings. Then worship to the people's arms. Worship, O death, be paid to thee. But worship be thy defense, and to thine accusation paid. Death be this worship paid to thy good will and thy malevolence. Worship to thy physicians and to thy sorcerers. Worship paid. Death, let this reverence be done unto thy brothels and thy roots. And so we're making mention, but of course, the different stages of the hierarchy aren't you know, worthy of worship as in treating them like gods. Um, I think the word generally is making mention M614, three verses. Remove thou all the clime that lurks within the members and the joints, the firmly settled heart disease that racks the bones and rends the limbs. From the consumptive man I pluck a decline as twere a severed part. I cut the bond that fetters him, even as a root of cucumber. The gone consumption hence away, like a young fowl that runs at speed, the knot pernicious to our men, flee yearly visitant like grass. Deprive him of the strength he hath, and slay him thyself like mighty Jacques. Now, cut down, I'm not sure quite how that applies there, you know. Um, him 615, three verses. Most excellent of all the plants art thou. Thy vassals are the trees. Let him be subject to our power, the man who seeks to injure us. Whoever seeks to injure us with kinsmen are no kin to aid. May I be uppermost of all, even as this plant is queen of trees, as Soma hath been made the best of all oblations amid the plants. So as Talasa is the queen of trees, may I be chief of all. Him 616. O Abayu, non Abayu, dire is thy juice. O Abayu, we eat the gruel made of thee. The Halya is thy father's name. Thy mother's is Madhavati. Yea, verily, thou art not he. Thou who hast well protected life, go thou to rest. Ta'u Vilika. This noisy cry hath sunk to rest. Go hence, depart. Nivrala, thou the tawny and the tawny eared. Thou shalt give up as prey to me the worshipper who pour the juice. The godless man, whoever plots against us, Brahmanas Pate. So, a different sort of individual, this, as in those verses. Him 6.17, but the importance of the Jews is laid forth. Um, Four verses. Even as this mighty earth conceived the germ of all the things that be, so may the germ of life be laid in thee, that thou mayest bear a son, even as this mighty earth hath borne and bears the stately forest trees, so may the germ of life be born in thee, that thou mayest bear a son, even as this mighty earth hath borne and bears the mountains and the hills, so may the germ of life be born in thee, that thou mayest bear a son, even as this mighty earth supports the moving world that dwells thereon, so may the germ of life be born in thee, that thou mayest bear a son. Him 618, three verses. The first approach of jealousy, and that which followeth the first, 
the pain, the fire that burns within thy heart, we quench and drive away, even as the earth is dead to sense. Yea, more unconscious than the dead, even as a corpse, the spirit is the spirit of the jealous man, the thought that harbors in thy heart, the fluttering doubt that dwells thereon. Yea, all thy jealousy, like heat born of the dance, I banish thence. And I think of verse 2 and him 6. If Soma, any spiteful man, hath aimed at us, whose thoughts are kind, smite with thy bolt against its face, he crushed to pieces, vanishes. And of course, we're, I bounce that off that because of the, the, the pain relieving aspect of Soma. Hymn 619, let the uh, three verses, let the gods purify me, let men purify me with prayer, cleanse me all creatures that exist, may Papamana make me pure, may Papamana make me pure for wisdom and for power and life, an unassailed security, God's avatar, by both of these, filter and pressing out this juice, purify us that we may see, and it's important that we have, um, we don't just want things, but that we um, don't want impurity within us, that, you know, takes the edge off how good that is, or might conflict with it, or whatever. Hymn 620, three verses. He goes away as twere from this fierce burning fire, inebriated and lamenting he departs. Let him, the lawless, seek another and not us. Worship be paid to fever, armed with fiery heat. To Rudra and to fever be our worship paid. Worship be paid to Varuna, the splendid king. Worship to Diaus, to earth. Worship be paid to plants. Thou who, aglow with heat, makest all bodies green to thee, red brown, I bow the fever of the wood. Hymn 621, three verses. Of all the three terrestrial realms, the ground is verily the best. I from the skin that covers these gather a healing medicine. Thou art the best of medicines, most excellent of plants. Art thou as Soma amid the wandering stars, as Varuna among the gods, endowed with wealth, denying not, give freely fain to give your gifts. Ye stay the hair from falling off, ye strengthen and increase its growth. And the Persians would talk about the three parts of the earth, the middle part, the northern part, and the southern part. Hymn 622. Dark, oh, oh, three verses. Dark the descent. The strong-winged birds are golden. They fly aloft to heaven and robed in waters. They have come hither from the seat of order and have inundated earth with streams of fatness. Ye make floods rich in milk, make plants perpetuous. What time ye stir, O golden-breasted Marutas, pour down your showers of vigorous strength and favor there where ye sprinkle mead. O Marutas, heroes, O Marutas, send ye down streaming with water, rain which may filling all the sloping valleys, leap like a bold girl in a man's embraces, are like a matron tumbled by her husband. And some of these spiritual states are every bit as strong as the ones people tend to seek out in their daily lives. Now, the, those daily life things can be uh, dedicated spiritually, of course, but 623, three verses. Here flow the restless ones, they flow unceasing through the day and night. Most excellently wise, I call the goddess waters hitherward. Let the deft waters summoned give permission that we bear them off, and quickly set us on our way. 
but all the people celebrate the rite of Savitar, the god. Sweet unto us be waters, plants, propitious. M624, three verses. For from the hills of snow they stream, and meet in Sindhu here are there to me the sacred waters, give the balm that heals the heart's disease. Whatever rupture I have had that injured eyes or heels or toes, all this the waters, skillfulest physicians, shall make well again. All rivers who have, Sindhu for your lady, Sindhu for your queen, give us the balm that heals this ill, the spoon let us enjoy from you. Now, what, what is the purpose? What function does it serve to have all these things gendered? Hymn 625, three verses. May all the five and fifty which meet round the tendons of the neck depart and vanish hence away, like plaguing insects buzz and hum. Those seven T and seven, which meet round the upper vertebra. Let them all vanish hence away, like plaguing insects, buzz and hum. Those nine and ninety, which combined attack the shoulder round about. Let them vanish all hence away, like plaguing insects, buzz and hum. Well, we definitely want to use those things, but um, shifting our attention from here to there and away from that and sometimes we need to identify the sounds first in 626 three verses let me go free O misery do thou the mighty pity us send me uninjured in the world of happiness O misery from thee from thee who fleest not from us, O misery, we fly. Then at the running of the paths, let misery fall on someone else. May the immortal, thousand-eyed, dwell otherwhere apart from us. Let him afflict the man we hate. Smite only him who is our foe. And it's important, like when a person goes to war, to leave off the civilian targets. I know that's not how things run nowadays, but yeah. Hymn 627, three verses. Gods whatsoever, the dove came hither seeking, send to us as the envoy of destruction. For that let us sing hymns and make atonement. Well be it with our quadrupeds and bipeds. Auspicious be the dove that hath been sent us, a harmless bird, O gods, that seeks our dwelling. May Agna Sage be pleased with our oblation, and may the missile borne on wings avoid us. Let not the arrow that hath wings distract us. Beside the fireplace, on the hearth it settles. May it bring welfare to our men and cattle. Here let the dove ye gods forbear to harm us. There's the light, uh, there's the dove, and there's the serpent. Choose ye well, right? Um, M628. But it's not light beings versus fire beings. It's sort of a left-hand path versus right-hand path thing. Uh, three verses. Drive forth the dove, chase it with holy verses. Rejoicing bring we hither food and cattle, obliterating traces of misfortune. Most flee... May it fly forth and leave us vigor. These men have strengthened Agnes' might. These men have brought the kind to us. They have sung glory to the gods. Who is the man that conquers them? Be reverence paid to him who, while exploring the path for many, first approached the river, lord of this world of quadrupeds and bipeds, to him be reverence paid to death to Yama. M629, three verses. On these men yonder fall, the winged missile, the screeching of the owl is ineffective, and that the dove beside the fire hath settled. Thine envoys who came hither, O destruction, 
sent are not sent by thee unto our dwelling. The dove and owl affect this be their visit. Oft may it fly to us to save our heroes from slaughter. Oft perch here to bring fair offspring. Turn thee and send thy voice afar. Cry to the region far away that I may see thee in the home of Yama. Reft of all thy power that I may see thee impotent. And... So, in a way, whether you choose the right-hand path or the left-hand path, you got to be somewhat on the same thing. It's, you know, it can be very hard to tell them apart. It's hymn 630, three verses. Over a magic stone, besides Sarasvati, the gods plowed in this, Barley that was blent with mead. Lord of the plow was Indra, strong with hundred powers. The plowers were the Marutas, they who give rich gifts. My joy in hair that falleth are is scattered. Therewith thou subjectest a man to laughter. To other trees far from thee will I drive it. Grow up thou sami with a hundred branches, auspicious bearing mighty leaves, holy one nurtured by the rain. Even as a mother to her sons, be gracious, Sami, to our hair. Now, the hair is interesting because it's not living and it's not not living, right? Um, let's see, let's go. Well, I'm not sure if that can but in 631, three verses. And the spotted bull hath come and sat before his mother in the east, advancing to his father heaven, as expiration from his breath his radiance penetrates within. The bull shines out through all the sky. He rules supreme through thirty realms. One winged with song hath made him mount throughout the days at break of morn. Nature knows what it's going to do, but um, there's a spiritual side that our actions certainly bear essential development. Um, In 632, three verses. With butter in his hall, where fire is burning, perform that sacrifice which quells the goblins. Burn from afar against the demons, Agne. Afflict not in thy fury, us who praise thee. Let Rudra break your necks, O ye Prasachas, and split your ribs asunder. Yet do us, your herb of universal power with Yama, hath allied itself. Here, Mitra Varuna. May we dwell safely with splendor drive the greedy demons backwards. Let them not find a surety or refuge, but torn away, go down to death together. So are goblins earth demons that attach themselves to the death energy, but death isn't necessarily a bad thing. Hymn 633, three verses. He who controls this air and men who ate his strength and wood, and heaven, the lofty seat which Indra loves, the bold whose overpowering might, the boldest never hath defiled, as erst still unassailable is Indra's wrath, and fame and force may he bestow on us that wealth, far spreading, bright with yellow hue, Indra is mightiest lord among the folk. In 634, three verses, Send forth thy voice to Agne, to the manly hero of our homes. So may he bear us past our foes, that Agne, who with sharpened flame of fire, consumes the Rakshasas. So may he bear us past our foes, he who from distance far remote shineth across the tracts of land. May he transport us past our foes, he who beholds all creatures, who observes them with a careful eye, may he transport us past our foes, the brilliant Agne, who was born beyond this region of the air. May he transport us past our foes. Now, as much as we want, may want to win conflict, it's in a non-cowardly way generally best to avoid it. Hymn 635, forth from the distance far away, the Espinara 
come to succor us, Agnet approach our eulogies. But Isvanara, with friendly thoughts, hath come to this our service, Agna who saves from woe to lauds. The Isvanara hath formed the hymn and laud of the Angarasis. To these may he bring glorious right. And, you know, it's not just being right or victorious in a material way. It's about being true. In 636, three verses, Holy the Isvanara we seek, the Lord of light, an endless life, the burning one who fadeth not. He hath directed all things, he sends forth the seasons in his might, furthering sacrifices power, Agne, Kama, in other homes shines forth, the sole imperial Lord of all that is and is to be. Some people worship. There's a different God for different ages. Certain representative beings, perhaps, but not all the 